What is up guys? In today's vlog, we are going to tackle suspension. Now we're only gonna do a small part of this today, um, but today we're going to tackle our struts. So we've got these. These are Rancheros um, RS 9000s. At least that's what it says on them. Um, but these are going to be good for anywhere from zero to two and a half inches of lift. So two and a half inches is what we're shooting for. And these are also nice because they have a dampening adjustment. Now, I did buy these used. Um, I got them from another Xterra here in town and he said they were really great. Um, so we got those. So we got our two for the rear and I went ahead and ordered new struts for the front to match. So now we'll have brand new struts. These are only about three to six months old. So still have a lot of life left in them. And then I went ahead and got new ones to match the front. And then from there, so we have all of our struts to do two and a half inches worth of lift. We have our rear shackles that are already painted to match, which are kind of nice. So we just got to get new hardware for these when we're ready. And then we have our Adelief. So the rear of the truck is ready. All we're missing is new front upper control arms, which I'll be ordering next weekend. So hopefully those will be here super quick. And on top of that, I went ahead and ordered another two and a half inch body lift. So that should be showing up in the next week or two as well. So stay tuned for those. The truck I'm shooting for at least right now, four and a half inches overall for lift between suspension and body. Now, once we have that finished, sometime this summer, we are going to up our wheel size and probably shoot for a 34 inch mud tire. I don't know what yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So for this video anyways, let's go ahead and start this suspension lift by throwing in struts front and rear and seeing, and seeing the difference in the ride quality just by adding these aftermarket struts. So let's go ahead and start with the rear. So here we go. So here's our new rear shock. Here's our old one. And this is what we're looking for. And decompress this. No rebound. Those are shot. This is what we want. It's a good indication that the shock still has some life in it. And granted, these won't work to its full potential until we finish the, the, the lift on the truck. But the bright side about it is they'll be in there. We shouldn't be driving on them for too terribly long or anything really that's going to damage them in the meantime. So we're fine to go ahead and put these in for right now. And uh, hopefully they change the ride quality a little bit. So let's go ahead and throw this last one in. And then I will show you guys what it looks like. So there we go. The rear Ranchero shocks are installed. You can see it over there, kind of. Um, pretty simple. Just two 17 millimeter bolts, top and, or top and bottom. And they just slide right out. Your old ones might need some little, some little force to get out 
of the bottoms because they're pretty stuck on, but not that bad of a problem. But I think I just found yet another problem with this truck. To me, that looks like a broken lift pack. I'm not really sure, but to me, that looks broke. And it's the same on both sides. You can see there's a huge gap right there just to the left of the strut. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but I'm pretty sure these are broke. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. <sighs> Shit. It's not what I wanted to see. The scary part is I've been driving on that for six months and didn't even notice. Well, I guess in the meantime, let's finish the fronts and then uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. I think everything in here has seen better days, bud. I would agree with that. What about that Pathfinder? Fucked up. All sorts of fucking up? Pretty fucked up. I don't think that's where your windshield's supposed to be. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in it when it was. <laughs> but it's right there, I see it. Down there. Let's do a Honda. Might go find some like fitted floor mats though. I like. You just bought those though, I guess. Those were like thirteen dollars. Because you know, Harper Freight Tools. Harper Freight Tools. Yeah. 
right there. What, what if you go on the top of the leaf pack and where it's like, yeah, right there? Or is it still in the... It just kind of pushes it down. Oh, it's still in the bowl. Yeah. yeah. The axle is completely disconnected. That's not even on there. <laughs> It would be a good thing if we could have brought it in here. Fucking Jack. Yeah. Well. All right. So in your words, how was that? That sucked. <laughs> do you that ever, sucked. Do you ever want to do leaf packs again? No. <laughs> do you ever want to own a truck with a leaf pack? No. <laughs> My Toyota. Oh, that is shots fired. Oh. Sir. Shots fired. But I agree. I'm, buy a Nissan. I'm gonna buy a Toyota next time. Yeah, I've had to buy a Nissan. I did. <laughs> what makes it worse is that this is second Nissan, so obviously I didn't learn the first time. Yeah, you time. didn't learn the first time. No, no. So, anyways, as you guys can see, made it to Spaldings. We found, I don't know what would you call this, our patient for today. Yep. Our, our patient, candidate. Our candidate. Non rusty leaf packs, but still a fucking pain in the ass to pull them out. But well, we got them, and then we can fix our truck and get back out on the trail. So now I think we're gonna go find a Pathfinder and try to steal a steering wheel now. Should we go try to steal a steering wheel now? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Let's head over there. Okay, so that's now the next day. We made it home last night, got super late. Um, but we were able to get what we were looking for, which is super nice. So here, so there, so as you guys seen us pull yesterday, we got our two lift packs. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the rear part of the lift. So new shackles and we're gonna take this bottom leaf out and add a leaf. Um, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here and do that as like a part two since this video was just supposed to be the struts, which we did get mounted. We got the fronts done. A little, ooh, too much. A little rough. The fronts didn't go so well. The driver's side was seized. I had to cut a bunch of stuff apart, but we got them in, and I could say so much better. All four of these struts were blowing. These new ones are great. I just gotta do a little bit more research to see how the dampening works and where it should be adjusted from front to back. I think right now I'm just on five all the way around. We got those ones up in there. I don't know if you can see them or not, but I don't know if you can see those or not, but the ride quality on them was amazing. It's a random cat um but so much better on the freeway less jarring so hopefully we can dial that in a little bit get that a little bit better and hopefully by changing out the rear lift packs that the ride will get better so and maybe lift the rear up a little bit too i don't know if, if they're like blown or broke so they're like kind of flat if that'll help but i would assume so but we also while we were at spaldings we were able to get a different windscreen and this one's just a little bit more simple and I like it and I want to do a vinyl over the Nissan and uh, it was just something different I haven't seen this one yet um, it came off an O2 so I I don't know but it was different it was four bucks so we got it and changed it out and uh, I think that's it so today in the next video but today we're going to swap out these lift packs and install the two and a half inch shackles with the add leaf and new hardware. So we're gonna head over to Travis's later today and hopefully get all that taken care of today. So like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one for part two of this two and a half inch lift. Later.